When I started to work with APIs in my application, I often faced the need to change the array I was getting as a result. And depending on the type of changes I needed, I used different methods or even combinations of many. For example, I have this array of objects which has properties I am not interested on or in formats that are not useful or I just don't like them. I can use the array built-in map method to map this array into a format I want before I start working with it. I simply call it and return a new version of the item, even changing some keys to what I want. I do not recommend doing complex stuff inside this function, especially if the list has the potential to be long. I can also accomplish the same thing using the from method of the array object. The from method is useful when I don't have an array to start with, like I may have a list but not quite an array, like node list returned by query selectors, HTML collection returned by children, property, a set, a map, an iterator, but would like to do a group change and keep an array of references. If you already have an array, you can just go ahead and call map on it instead. Other times, I may also need to remove items I don't want. And for that, I use the filter method, which I just have to return true or false, whether to include it or not. I suggest to filter the items first, then to map it. That way you have less things to work with. I even recommend using reduce if you need to do multiple operations on that array, like filter and mapping. But I'll talk about that on a different video so we can jump into more details and examples. Oftentimes, the array may contain nested arrays, and I don't appreciate nested arrays, especially if I have to do quick reads and don't want hard to get items. Sometimes I change the array to be object for quick finds, but other times I just like to flat them. For this example, I'm using a flat method to flat list, and it takes a single option parameter of how many levels you want the array to be flattened. Just like that, I collect all the items flat. There is also a flat map, which is a combo of map and flat methods. Let's say I have this nested array of numbers, and for each item, I'm only interested on the first two. I call flat map and return the slice of the item to just grab the first two numbers, and since slice returns an array, it will be flattened, and we end up with a flat array of numbers. It is good practice to simplify your array to avoid doing expensive finds, iteration, and reads. Feel free to explore more and refuse to work with unnecessary complex arrays. Hopefully I was able to make you understand the basic of these powerful array methods. Once again, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.